ladies. Um, I'm going to try and show you how to make something today. So it's kind of like my first tutorial. Um, I'm using the iPad so I'm going to have to just hold it and show you. I can't like point down to the table. Because um, I've only got one pair of hands. <laughs> right, I've made these. Now, I mentioned the other day on a video about um, Fiona Jennings using beaded sprays. And um, and I really like them. Um, now you, I'm sure you can probably buy them. Um, I don't know if they're expensive, to be honest. But I just thought I'd have a go at making them because I, I do like to make stuff. Uh, and I got this floral wire the other day because um, I had it in my head that I was going to make some. And it says on the back that it's 30g times 7 inch. Well, they're. The seven inches, obviously, the length, so it must be 30, 30 gauge wire. I know they're in different thicknesses. I, I'm a bit new to all this wire stuff, but I think it, I think that means it's 30 gauge. It's quite thin. The only thing I'd do different like is, I know you can get it in like a white colour, or you could use jewellery wire, jewellery beading wire, same thing, in a nicer colour than this silver. And um, what else I could do, um, might be nice, is to put crystals in between as well. Make it look a bit more sparkly. But, you know, you kind of put them on with your flowers, with some feathers. You, you could make two or three, you know, do two or three or whatever. And um, that's kind of what Fiona sometimes puts on hers and it looks absolutely lovely. So I'm going to try and show you how to make these. Try. <laughs> right. So you get your wire. Okay. And I started off with teardrop pearls. Just got them in my stash. I've, I've recycled them from somewhere. I ain't even bought them. So they've cost me nothing. So you just feed it through like that. And then you leave quite a big gap. What's there? What kind of a gap's that? An inch. An inch, inch and a half. Something like that. Then just bend it over, just bend the wire over the back of the pearl like that. Yeah, so it's just bent over. I've not done anything other than that. Then pull it tight up to the top like that and pinch it with your thumb, finger and thumb. Where's my camera? <laughs> there you go. And then twist it. And you keep twisting until you run out of that short way that you've bent over until that runs out just keep twisting it pull this what oh my hand went funny then pull this wire quite tight at the same time as twisting because you want the short wire to twist nicely onto the long wire like that okay so then you've got that so now what you do is you just get another pearl bead there we go, I'm trying to find the camera thing on my iPad and thread it on. Okay, so you're threading it on like that. Now, because this wire is so thin, it will thread up onto where you've twisted the shorter wire as well. Okay, so about there, about finger and thumb space in between. Or you could have it longer or shorter, do whatever you want. Okay, my hand keeps cramping up. Then what you do is, you fold this wire back over on itself and feed it back through the bead hole again. Yeah, so you're lifting it up, putting it round and feeding it back through. So you back through. So you've gone in a loop, back through like that. Okay, then keep your finger and thumb on that space so that your space is right. And then pull that wire. Okay. And then just... Pull it like that, make it tight. Okay, and that's it. That's your first bead. Finger and thumb space approximately, or however much space you want, and do the same again. That one's a bit small, that bead. Uh, feed another bead on. Don't know what I've got in my nail, let's bug him. <laughs> Finger and thumb space round about, probably a thumb space. Bend it round, feed it back through. So it's a bit fiddler. I, I'm probably making it look more fiddler than it is because I'm conscious of trying to 
show what I'm doing. Okay, feed it back through. If you do a, like a thing, keep doing the finger and thumb, finger and thumb space, then it kind of um, ensures that you've got the same spaces in between each one kind of thing. And just pull it. So there you go. And then obviously, finger and thumb, you could probably fit another one on there. I've only got short wires because I bought this pack. Like I said, you can get it on a roll so that you can have more beads. Um, this is the technique that I've come up with to do with these. I've not um, come across a film where anybody's done it like this. I'm sure they have, but I haven't come across it. So if you've done this, I haven't pinched it. And I'm not saying it's my idea. There probably are other tutorials out there, but I haven't seen one. So that's why I haven't put a link. So if you have done it, I'm not being rude. I haven't seen it. The um, only ones that I have seen are on lovely scrapping. Um, so there you go, you pull that again. And there you go. Um, just pull it, try and pull it tight. That's it. Now you can very, very slightly see the wires obviously at the back of the pearl you've tucked it over but it's negligible you can hardly see them and like I say if you can find some wire that's uh, white it wouldn't show at all so that's how you do one and then obviously you can bend them um, however you want put a few together get them how you want them you could put some stickles on them if you want to add a bit of glitter to your pearls um, you can use, I've got some, I can't show you really very good, let's see if I can tip it down, no I can't do it, can't do it with this iPad, I've got some like crystally ones, Ooh. you know what I mean, I can't show you, I'm sorry, <laughs> they're like crystal, oh I've got some on this one, I did this little bunch of like crystals that I've got off a I tried this and it doesn't really work with short wires because you have to like put a few on um, a few wires together and then twist them around so it makes it really bulky and it doesn't work. So if you want to do that method, um, lovely scrapping does do it to make like a spray like that. You really need a really long piece of wire and follow her method. It doesn't work very good doing it in like two or three different ones and then tying them all together because it just looks bulky and a mess. So that idea doesn't work with short wires like these. But this does. So you get a few of those and you might get some uh, nice feathers and then you, you just hot glue them onto whatever you want. And I, I think, I think they'd look really cool personally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make quite a few of these, put them on uh, projects or whatever flowers. Anyway, so there you go. So that's how you make those wibbly wobbly <laughs> sprays. Uh, and as I said, this whole packet cost me seventy five p. So I'll get quite a lot. And my beads, you know, I mean, I have jars and jars full of beads that I get cheap necklaces from pound shop or if I see them cheap in Primark and just take them to pieces so that's not being extensive right I've owned and had a bit and that's kind of like the, my first tutorial um, so it, it's just a scrimpy tip if you've already got the things in you see then you won't go buy them would you so there you go um, Another tip, fabric, um, now most of the ladies that I'm watching at the moment mostly do things like altered art, altered journals and flowers like this and um, what have you, not a lot of ladies actually make things out of material but a good idea if you're using material always look in the charity shops, pillowcases, I've bought pillowcases to make flowers with, cover books with, 
whatever you want. Um, you can get some really nice patterns on it and I've paid as little as 10 pence. Um, I've got this material today um, that I'm going to use for my craft fair. Um, it, it's uh, kidding, right, little girl material. It's got houses on it and well, I think it's all different kinds of houses like that with a little purple gingham in between and there's a lot of material there. Um, there's a good few metres easily, I don't know. That's it. I don't know what it's from. I think it's um, it's called Candy Cottage and it's by Zofana. Zofana? I don't know, I'm not really up on brands. I just buy cheap stuff. Um, but it's a big piece. It's obviously a piece of curtain material because it's quite thick. And I paid a pound for that. No, I didn't. It was £1.25. Yeah. So I'm going to make some little, uh, probably little white pump bags out of that, maybe. And then I got this as well. I think this was £1.25. Now it's a single flat sheet, but it's really good quality cotton. And it's got a lovely flower, a purple border, and then it's all rosebuds. And you probably can't see, but there's a tiny white polka dot background to it as well. And it's really good quality, that. Really thick. So that is going to find its way into a fair... I mean, it's a single flat sheet, so however many metres is in a flat sheet, I don't know. But there's, there's loads there. That will make... Um, Lots and lots of pretty bunting, which is so easy to make. In fact, I might put a tutorial up on bunting. Um, because if you're doing craft fair ladies, especially in England, mummies love bunting for their little girls' bedrooms. And it, if you um, source your fabric cheap, you can sell it cheap and you'll sell loads of it. Because in the shops it's really expensive. And if you go to Next or somewhere like that for some bunting for your little girl's bedroom, you can be paying, what, £15 probably? For maybe less than two metres? I'd be able to sell two metres for not even half that price. I bet I could sell two metres. If I can run it up fast enough and get cracking with it, you know, you, you can be selling it for £5. And you... Go like hotcakes. So there's another scrimpy tip. Right, that's it for today. Um, I've got to get cracking. I've got lots of things to make. So um, I hope the beaded sprays um, were useful. I think they're useful. I think it's a nice idea. It's even a good idea to get rid of random beads. So there you go. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you later. Take care.